welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, July 4th. So you know what that means. Today is the 4th of July and it is actually a work holiday. So I am at home on this Wednesday and it is wonderful to say the least. Today I'm gonna bring you along for a vlog slash full day of eating. So let's get this day started with some coffee. This morning I am super excited about my coffee because my friend Becca sent me this cold brew coffee maker which is pretty darn awesome. So last night before I went to bed there's this little filter right here and I filled it up with coffee grounds and it's actually dripping on my floor right now. And that little filter sits down into the water that you fill this with. So it's steeped overnight and now we've got cold brew coffee to try. So we are going to give it a go. See how it tastes. Oh yeah. Look. That only happens to me. Good try cat. Good try. All right, let's try that again. No lid this time. Oh, beautiful coffee. Beautiful. Let's pour in some heavy cream. Look at that heavy cream just like fall. Oh, yum. Look at those little heavy cream swirls. It's like a little heavy cream lava lamp right now. Ooh. <laughs> One question I've been asked recently is why I use two sweeteners. So this is just normal stevia and then this is the sweetened vanilla cream stevia. These aren't cheap. These are like 15, 16 bucks for this little dropper bottle. So I do a couple drops of these so I get the vanilla flavor. But to sweeten it all the way, I come in with the little bit of a cheaper stevia so I'm not wasting all of this because I love this but I can use both and make this last longer so perfect let's give this cold brew coffee a go that is so good it actually tastes a lot less bitter than like the brewed coffee which is interesting that's smooth that's so good mm. time to go drink my cold brew coffee Hey guys, so currently Cody and I are headed towards Academy Sports and Outdoors. We're gonna go look for a reel cover for Cody's new fishing reel. And then I need to find some, you know, 4th of July themed stuff. I wanna take an Instagram picture with like a flag or something. So, going to pick that up while I'm there. Take some fun Instagram pictures for the 4th of July today. And it's going to be a great day because we got to sleep in. It's a holiday off work in the middle of the week. It's fabulous. Woo! America. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are currently at McAllister's. I got the, what is it called? Italian chopped salad. I omitted the cucumbers, tomatoes, and black olives because I don't like those. And I changed out the dressing and did ranch instead. There's some salami, there's some ham, there's some peppers, and some provolone cheese. So, I got that, and then an unsweetened tea. We are home from shopping since I waited until the last minute to go find a 4th of July tea. They were out of a lot of them, but I found this super cute Budweiser tank top at Target that I'm going to use in my little Instagram photo shoot today. And then I also bought an American flag so that, you know, I can use it in my pictures today and then I can probably hang it on the wall in here. So, I'm about to go change, put on my little outfit. Cody got himself a shirt with a detachable flag on it, super fancy. And we're gonna go take some pictures in the park for the 4th of July. Woohoo! <laughs> Bo, do you wanna take some pictures in the park for the 4th of July? Do you wanna be a patriotic Bobo? I thought I'd do a little Instagram outfit, show you what I got before we go take these pictures. So this is my little Budweiser tank from Target. It costs like 14 bucks, but I thought it was cute. I'll wear it again on not the 4th of July, but Got my cute little tank top, 
Got some high-waisted Forever 21 shorts on. I love these shorts. So got those on. I got this little lace cami on underneath. And yeah, time to go take, oh wait, can't forget about the best part. These $10 Goodwill red boots. Aren't they cool? Ooh, look at them, so nice. All right, time to go take some pictures. Let's just take a second to appreciate Cody's outfit. We've got the tank top with the American flag flying in the background. Turn around, hit another pose. Face forward, hit another pose. Got that cowboy hat, got that USA, got that concealed carry. Lord help me, who am I dating? America, baby. Oh my golly. We just got back from taking some pictures. I changed into a shirt that says y'all in little patriotic colors. But literally right before we left, I dropped my camera and the lens is currently stuck. I've never, ever, ever dropped like any of my cameras. I am so, so, so safe with my electronics and an accident happened and now my poor camera could possibly be broken. It won't close and I'm freaking out a little bit, but I'm gonna work on trying to fix it, but I will insert in a couple of pictures that we took today because the memory card should still be good. It's just the lens. Gotta fix that. So it's about four o'clock now and I decided that for dinner tonight we have this little chuck roast that we picked up at Kroger the other day. So what I'm going to do is throw this into the crock pot with some beef broth and let it cook on high for about four hours. And I'm hoping that it'll allow for this to shred up and you know maybe we could do it over eggs or as I don't know. I haven't figured out exactly how we're going to eat it. but. We're going to throw this in the crock pot and hopefully after a couple of hours it will shred up nicely. Now I just have some beef broth I picked up and I'm just going to pour a little bit down in the bottom. Now I'm just going to stick the lid on and cook it on high for four hours. Well, Cody and Bo got themselves a nice nap in on the couch. I have been working on some frustrating stuff on the computer for the past couple of hours. I'm just editing a document and the document won't edit to my liking and it's the most frustrating thing. Anyways, it's currently six o'clock and Cody and I decided that we should grill something since it's the 4th of July. Everyone's outside grilling. So we figured why the heck not. So even though we made that roast in the crock pot, we will probably save that roast to eat until tomorrow. And I think we're gonna go pick up some hamburgers to grill. If Kroger still has some hamburgers in stock, I'm sure they do. But we're gonna pick up some hamburgers, grill those for dinner, and it should be a grand old delicious time. Get pumped, get pumped. It's the 4th of July. Except we have to go back to work tomorrow, which stinks. But this was a very grand midweek break, I must say. We just went to Kroger and picked up four of these big old ground beef patties. So they were on sale for $2.50 each, so not a bad deal since they were out of every other hamburger patty in Kroger. We've got Cody right here in his USA shirt. And he's going to season up these burger patties for us before we get to throw them on the grill. These are some big old burger patties. Good golly. Look at that. He uses a meat hand and a seasoning hand so you don't cross contaminate. He's going to do a little meat tenderizer, some onion powder, and some garlic salt. And that is how he's going to season up these burger patties. Oh yes. 
Nice work. Nice, nice, nice hamburger work there, Cody. We've got Bo right here pouting because he thinks he needs to eat that hamburger. Speaking of hamburgers and Bo, if anyone has recommendations for feeding your dog something other than kibble or like the best quality, let me know. Your girl is trying to switch up his food, but don't really know where to start. Boop! We are going to top the burgers with this yellow American cheese. I figured since it's the 4th of July, you can't get much more American than American cheese. So we're going to grill these out and top them with this cheese. Cody finished seasoning them up. It's just about time to go pop them on the grill. All right, grill is heated up. It's time to stick the burgers on. Come on, Cody, do your job. America man. I had to go out in public with him looking like this. She's a lucky gal. Mmm. Burgers for 4th of July. Oh, yes. Nice. Since it's the 4th of July, I had to celebrate with a peach tea diet Snapple. I absolutely love these. I could drink like five of them every single day, but I'm trying to limit myself to like one or two a week. Not the best thing to consume like every single day, but as a little bit of a treat for me, these things are so, so good and it's one carb per bottle. So, enjoying my little 4th of July Snapple treat, woo! Look at Cody hard at work out there on the burgers. Wow. Look at that. Working so hard. Cody just brought in the hamburgers he grilled and they look and smell delicious. I can't wait to dig into these. We're about to pull out all the burger toppings and get to eating our burgers. You want to eat some too? Sorry, your dog. You can't. Got the hamburger fixins good to go on top of my ground beef patties. We got us some iceberg lettuce. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. We've got us some Alterna Sweets classic tomato ketchup. We've got some Primal Kitchen mayo made with avocado oil. Some hamburger dill chips and some mustard. Yum yum. So time to doll up our burgers. Yum yum. Got a little lettuce wrap going on. I'm probably going to put a little ketchup right there on that side to dip it in, but I don't like to pour ketchup on my burgers. So, time to eat this yumminess celebrating the 4th of July. So, I cooked this for four hours on high, and then I came over here, and I was able to break it apart with just this little spatula. I gave it a taste, and it tastes pretty darn good, I must say. So, awesome, going to let this cool, and I'll have dinner or lunch for the next couple of days, so perfect. This would probably be super good with some eggs, to be completely honest. Awesome! Well, guys, we ate those hamburgers a little while ago, and they were absolutely delicious. It was the perfect little 4th of July meal, but after that, we just have kind of had a chill evening, just enjoying, just hanging out. And now, all of a sudden, it's 10.37 at night. And yeah, I probably need to go to bed since I have to be at work at 8 o'clock now. Yeah, my hours have changed. I now work 8 to 5, so I have to wake up even earlier than I already do now. Which sucks. Badly, guys. Waking up for me is hard. But, anyways. We have had a great 4th of July. I hope all of you had a wonderful 4th of July holiday as well. But for now, we are going to go ahead and I need to go rip these eyelashes off. I need to go wash this very, very dirty hair and then go crawl into bed and get me a good night of sleep. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I will be back again real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mwah. Blow a kiss, Bo. Mwah. Mwah.